could I like hide out in the gardens like originally was planned? Would she uh come out there at all? Or Uh, you might be able to make that work, yeah. Um, because that's the thing, like, the gardens are really extensive, as we said before, and there's plenty of corners and stuff like that you can get in. As long if you, like, managed to pass a message to her to say to, like, go wandering in the gardens, and then she lost the guard somehow, then you might be able to meet up in, you know, in the maze of the gardens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably before I left then, after the confessional, meet at the gardens again afterwards. Mm -hmm. Sure, sure. Okay, yeah, for sure. Um, okay. Um, I think, I think she, she can manage to do that. Well, actually, let me look at her stats real quick. Let me see if you can, if she actually has a stat, that she could pull this off. Yeah. So I'm going to, I'm going to actually roll for her and see. So she's going to, she's going to go wandering in the gardens and you're like in a specific location where she's going to meet you, but she has to lose the guard somehow. So she's going to try to persuade him, um, into, um, into like, trying to think of what she would actually be saying. So she's going to use, she's going to roll persuasion. And she's going to fork in inconspicuous and uh, seduction, which she has as skills. Um, and basically, yeah, she has, she has a male guard and, or, you know, a pair of male guards or something like that. And maybe she, she's like, I think, I think she, like, it's, it's really awkward. Like, I think we see this scene, like obviously Sergio isn't here, but we definitely see this scene where um, she's, she's, She's really awkward about it because she's not a seductress, right? Like she has a two in seduction. Um, she she's not like this practiced like person who's going around sleeping with a bunch of people. She just picked up a few things here and there. Um, uh, okay. I'm sure Alphonse didn't help. Um, <laughs> but like I think what she tr more or less tries to do is like she's like you know says something like, uh, "Oh, open. Would you would you mind letting me go?" Go, uh, go, this is so embarrassing, go swim in the, in the, uh, the pond over there. I, I, I keep passing by it and it just looks so inviting. It's, it's a, it's a warm day. It just, it seems like such a interesting prospect. And he's just like, I don't think that would be a good idea, mistress. Um, I, I can't really protect you as well i uh, i didn't he's kind of a little awkward because like mostly swimming is done usually in the nude in this sort mm -hmm. of society and and but but i think she like kind of does one of those like puts her finger like fi little finger walk up his arm um but it looks real awkward it looks you know like she's <laughs> just a she's an innocent girl who's trying to look s like um you know, <laughs> trying to look sexy and just isn't really doing a good job wouldn't um, that run the risk of him, uh, him watching though? <laughs> well, <laughs> um, but, but but she says, "I'll let you take a peek," and and so that definitely runs the risk. Well, well this is the thing. Like she's gonna she's gonna try to do this and then lose him, right? So I think oh, maybe like this pond is kind of extensive, and so there's like a oh. spot where like you guys would be able to meet, like in a little grove or something like that, like, um there um and do this um and i don't think she's necessarily told you like how she's gonna do this but she said she's gonna meet you there <laughs> so so we see this scene and i'm gonna i'm gonna go and roll for her and then uh i think the the guard's up is gonna be four um so i'll roll this here um the guards will rather okay um yeah and i think like he his face goes red um, right? And, like, he's like, um, just this once, but I, I'm not going to watch you. Like, I don't need to take a peek. Um, I, I have too much respect for your father for that. And, and he's, like, this gruff soldier-like guy, and, and he's like, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna be standing right at the edge. I'll turn around. And you have fun. Uh, but stay nearby. All right? So he's he's standing there. She kind of, you know she just strips and and jumps in and like is splashing playfully and stuff like that. And I think yeah, there's like uh, I'm gonna have her roll um, an inconspicuous test to try to like sneak off. Um, mm -hmm. So here we go. 
I'll make it against ob, ob three, I think. Okay, yeah, that's a good roll. Yeah, so I mean, I think what what probably happens is she manages to like, she's you know splashing around, and then she kind of just does one of those like she's just kind of like floating kind of a thing, and she gets him used to the quietness of like her her floating and just kind of like just slowly swimming um mm -hmm. and then eventually just kind of like slowly is like swimming away and then eventually gets to the point where she kind of like crawls up on land and like doo -doo -doo -doo, like skips away um to this specific spot so she comes and she's she's naked <laughs> um <laughs> what are you two? Oh, child <laughs> oh, that was probably like um, i have an extra like part of my robe yeah yeah uh-huh <laughs> Yeah, and she 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 gra her. she gra gladly takes it and like kind of like covers herself with it. She's like, I, sorry, I I couldn't think of another way to g get a, 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 a away from it. it Thank, this is I'm it's cold. <laughs> I mean, whatever works. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what what did you want to tell me, Uncle? Is what? Why is it so important? <laughs> well, your uh, your father is. You were right. He he is in a very dark place at the moment, and he's not willing to work with me. I'm <clears throat> sad to hear that. Does she know of the knights being brought in? Mm -mm. She's oh, not I brought in the loop on that. Her, those are the actually, what? Like, I might mention that okay. to her. Actually, he's he's going to he has brought the uh, the temple knights back from. Insert Middle Eastern country. Um, <laughs> he's actually planning to uh, instate martial law <laughs> to start the Harris. Instate martial law. Yeah. I think yeah. She puts a hand to her um her her mouth like in a, sort of a gasp, and I think like I think the robe she didn't like put on the robe. The robe kind of like just falls away a little bit, <laughs> and and like, I'm assuming Sergio just was like oh oh. <laughs> Just like looks up. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, oh, sorry. Fix that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, yeah, she kind of like pulls, pulls it over herself again. And she says, uh, that's horrible. I, I didn't, I didn't know. <coughs> he's, he's going to kill all those people. Well, Okay, so do I want to... tell her directly about the plan now, or... I don't know. Not? The thing is, you're probably, you're probably not going to have another good chance to, to do this, to talk to her again, so you should probably set up yeah. stuff now. <clears throat> Um, <clears throat> okay, so to remind me again, he wanted was so what was the second thing with Ipana? We were gonna, uh, like... yeah, so so it was to, um, <clears throat> And convince her to and, and the details on this were kind of vague but we'll, we'll figure that out but like basically convince her that you have to confront him and like with soldiers and stuff like that and get him to step down um and so to do that we need you know you need her to basically get <coughs> him find a way to get him into a compromising situation where it's where they're alone um and you guys can can like storm in or at least, like, only with, like, one or two guards or something, you know? Wait, so her find a way to get him to... Yeah, you have to convince her to basically say, like, something along the lines of, like, um, you know, Father, I need to have a really private conversation <clears throat> with you. Like, can we please speak alone? And I and I, I hate that the soldiers are here. Like, can we please just speak alone? I, I want to know that you're my father and not my like 
and not need this this person who's trying to protect me with a bunch of guards and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, I just need to like be there with you alone for one reason or another. Um, <clears throat> All right. So yeah, let me say something like, well, uh, there is a way that we can stop him, but I would require your help. If we can, uh, let's see, like, hmm. Hmm. How to phrase this. <laughs> so yeah, I guess he'd he'd just ask Ask what exactly? <clears throat> I don't know. He'd be he'd be honest and kindly about it but like mm-hmm. this is i think this is something that needs to be done and for and like because you know now now that you know what he's doing and we if we can use your we could use your help to uh mm-hmm. to get him into a into a situation right so do you tell her that like there's a chance that he might be killed or like like how how much of that whole side? Like what are you what are you trying to frame this as? I mean, I don't. I know that you don't want him to get killed. He doesn't. Yeah, yeah, he's not obviously going to. So it would it'd definitely be a reassurance that no harm will come okay. to him if For if sure. it comes to that. I will mm-hmm. I will do everything in my power to sure to make sure that doesn't happen. Stop that. Yeah. Yes. But like a confrontation to like force him to step down, basically. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I mean, make a make a persuasion check. Um, you, can t- you can take an advantage dice um, on, on you know, up with any forks that you might have um, to uh, for the for telling her like the whole thing about the the knights and all that stuff. Okay. Um, then. <clears throat> Oh, wait, can I do an aura read on her? Yeah, like, for sure. Yeah. yeah, definitely. What's the ob? Uh, two. If it, yeah, if you're just trying to like read her mood, then it's always two. Mm-hmm. Oof. Oh, I got zero. <laughs> you got a zero. That was really bad. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so you don't know what she's feeling right now. Maybe I overcharged. <laughs> you're, just, you're distracted thing, by yeah. her being naked. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's a good reason. Yeah, you, you, you're like I start to like flicker a little bit, and you're just like, uh, uh hmm. <laughs> yeah, like I try uh, thought of because this is the thing. It, like, like it's it's so you're like peering into her no, soul, maybe right? I could read, her, read her mood, and right. then like <laughs> you're like peering. Yeah. It's like like a second sight, right? Like so, it's just uh-huh. like wait a second. I don't know if I want to. No, probably not. Like. <laughs> Turn on X ray vision. Whoa, yeah, wait, exactly. wait, no, yeah, for okay. sure. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, maybe some doctrine with like the popey stuff. Okay. Yeah, and she has doctrine too, so she's she'll be receptive to that. <clears throat> and philosophy on this is the right thing to do, and yeah, see so a wax philosophical at her, you know, with uh-huh. <laughs> um. Yeah, moral, moral, uh, moralizing and stuff like that for sure. That's it then. Okay, uh, op four. Oh, some um, ooh, wow, you got a lot of dice. Well. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, so um, she looks super like like uh, I'm trying to think of the word almost like disappointed that it had to come to this she just looks real sad and she's like i (coughs) if you if you think it's best uncle i just want to do what's best for best for father yeah (laughs) (laughs) yeah all right (laughs) sounds good (laughs) like 
I'm sorry, child, but yes, unfortunately, it has come to this. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I think she, she asked you then, like, what should I tell him? How should I get him to meet? I mean, y you know your father better than I do, but, uh, um, yeah, I don't know. Would I don't think Sergio would have many ideas. He he does. He seems very. He's definitely concerned about you and your safety. I don't know if you could use that, or. I mean, don't put yourself at risk, obviously, but. <clears throat> Okay. Um. So make a perception test for me, real quick. I want to see if you notice something. Test. Yeah. I don't have good stats. <clears throat> Up two, I think. Oh, I just rolled. Oof. I got zero. zero. <laughs> yeah, so you don't notice this at all. Um, and, and I think it actually makes completely complete sense because, like, she's naked. This is all awkward. You're trying not to look at her as much as possible. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, but, yeah, I think I think when you when you say that, though, she you do notice that she kind of, like, blanches. Like, her face just goes white. And then she, no she, 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 like, nods really slowly, and she says, I think I know what I can tell him. And then she just oh, like okay. she 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 like says you might want to close your eyes. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> you close your eyes. Yeah, she she Turn hands around. you she hands you back your robe. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then she just yeah, dips into the water. Um and and like I she doesn't oh. like do that right away. Obviously she she you go guys go back and forth real quick with yeah. details. Uh -uh. Like yeah, she says like. Okay, I'll get him into this room at this time. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but she, but she does that. Um, so, yeah. Um, do you go back and tell Vada all about all this then? So what's Theo up to? Oh, Is there wow. no one else who could... Uh... Because I'm just thinking if... I want someone that I can trust there as far as mm -hmm, for sure. to fight off in case Vada's trying to Do you know what do you know what that would try and underhand me and then just you should roll then? slay him anyway. Uh would that be circles? You should roll circles. Yeah. yeah. Maybe Sergio has a friend <laughs> that he Except can draw. I have no friends. Um <laughs> and this is the thing, you can uh, yeah, so let me let me grab my sheet for <laughs> circles here. Where is that? Uh, so circles. Um, so what? What's the intent here? Who? What kind of person are you trying to find? <clears throat> and like, what do you want their disposition to be? Like you said, you you want to find someone you can trust, but any any more specifics than that? Someone who would not be willing to kill the Pope. If that... Okay. So someone who is loyal enough to, like, the church to, to, to like, not be violent and whatever. Yeah. But, but someone who understands that there needs to be reform and will go along mm. with this. Okay. Um, and obviously has martial training to... Yeah. Right. Yeah, you want someone with, with a sword. With a um, yeah, let's look at your... <clears throat> uh life paths um so you would be finding do you want to what kind of what setting do you want to try to find this person in do you want to find try to find them in the nobility or the religious um the religious <clears throat> setting you could i mean also i guess try to find them in <coughs> outcast but most all of your outcast life paths were in techo so i don't think you, it would be a lot harder yeah. Um, yeah, do you want to try to find, like, a religious person of some, like, someone who is part Probably. of the clergy? 
Yeah, or like a or just, holy knight okay. or holy yeah. guard or something. For probably. sure. Yep, you can do that. Um, uh, you can make a linked test with any relevant Ys you have. If you have a... I have no Ys's. You have no Ys's. You have forest Ys. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't help, though. Um, Let's do affiliations count. Yeah, I was gonna say you'd also add um, you'd add dice for uh, up to up to three dice for any applicable for one applicable affiliation and one applicable reputation. Okay. Uh, so you you know Church of Saron for sure um, that two mm -hmm. dice, um, mm -hmm. and then any any one of those. Yeah. Other reputation. Priest Philosopher or... priest. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> um, okay, so you have all, all those dice to help. Um, you, let's see, it's, it's going to be uh, ob4 to find someone with your specific specifications. All right. Um... Yeah. Hey. Awesome. Cool. Oh, um, if you want to spend a fate and reroll that six, uh, the way that circles work is that if the um, if you pass, you find the NPC and they're favorably disposed to you. If you exceeded the ob, then you get to like name the character and tell me. You just get to basically get to tell me exactly who this person is and what they're like. Um, and then that character will continue to be part of your circles. Like you can find them later. Otherwise, if you just have it on a on a pass, like just the the number itself. You'll meet this person. Will just come with you once, and then you'll never see them again. Kind of a thing. Like they'll just be a, kind of like a passing character in the story. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll okay. I'll get to decide who they are. So do you want to spend that fate and reroll it? Sure. Okay. Uh, Cool. Awesome. Hey, hey. Yep. So uh, you tell me, who is this person? Um. <clears throat> do you... Like I can so make I can make a name structure? for you if you want. Um. But uh. So yeah, the military yeah. structure basically so is like the guard structure. Yeah. So there are a couple options here. Um. Uh, you, because you're finding someone in the religious setting, you you're not necessarily just going to be able to find, um, like a member of the church guard per se, because they're not technically part of the church. Oh, um, okay. no. But uh, let me let me go to the the life paths here. Um, you could find anyone anyone who's a holy knight. Um for sure because there that's a mili the military order life path is is what that is um mm -hmm. you could <coughs> you could find an exorcist um you could find that an inquisitor might be needed for my brother yeah uh you could yeah so so the the three things that i'm seeing here that might be relevant is yeah military order so holy knight exorcist or inquisitor um the the because all of those might have Holy order for sure, a military order for sure. If you wanted to find a holy knight, that would probably be the the most applicable one. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, holy knight who who lives in Lucerta or something that you knew. Yeah, yeah. Let's say a holy knight and someone who. So as a holy knight, who he'd know of? Would he? I guess how public is the knowledge of the the other knights coming back? Uh, not very public. Um, it, though you don't know about Holy Knights, whether or not they know. Um, True. So in general, it's not necessarily known. You're not. I don't know if you're familiar enough with the way Holy Knights work to to know whether or not they might know. Um, Wait one sec. <laughs> Uh, is it a, ma a man or a woman? 
I mean, it doesn't matter. I was thinking a man, but... <laughs> That's because you're misogynist. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying, it, it's technically a, completely a plausible for a woman to be in the in the in the knighthood so. okay it it's totally up to yeah it doesn't matter I mean, you get to decide so it's whatever it's whatever you would prefer so so you can either be sexist or not <laughs> <laughs> <Dang>. uh, <laughs> uh let's let's say a man i guess okay. yeah that's fine okay. um is this person a noble Or a, 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 a sure. common person. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> or, well, it would make the most sense for them to be a noble because you you have life paths in noble and religious. Um, yeah. <laughs> but. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. The noble would probably have more respect for. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, how old is this person? Because <clears throat> you would have to have known them 20 years ago, at the very least. True, yeah. So, they, they probably aren't... Uh, <laughs> they probably aren't <laughs> younger than 30, or something, you know, like... Or, or even yeah. 40, maybe. Let's say, like, mid-30s. Mid thirties, um, maybe I knew. So you knew them as like teenager, or yeah, as, or when they were in training company. to be a holy knight. Mm -hmm. Okay, for sure. Um, so so why why do you know this person so well? Because this this person's gonna be really favorably disposed to you. <laughs> um, is gonna totally follow you and and be like, yeah, dude, like let's do this. I'm totally on board with this. Like, why why do you know this person? Is why why do why do they uh care so much about you? Maybe. I was a teacher or something, or, uh... Um, you would have known them when you were a, let's see, partner, probably. Yeah. So maybe you forgave them of a sin or something, or you helped them confess something? Could be. Yeah, maybe I helped them through some things. Okay. Uh, what maybe. were those things? Uh... <clears throat> I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> like, well, it was training to be a temple knight, right? Yep. Or... Uh, holy knight, yep. <clears throat> Did he, like, kill someone? And you taught him to, like, rein in his anger and, and like, Yeah, sure. Let's say that. Okay. No, Anakin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, literally. It's like, a, yeah. Um, are they still a holy knight? Uh, like, are either... They, are they, yeah, they're still actively a holy knight? Either a knight or part of the palace guard or something. Or, like, I don't know how the local policing works, but, yeah. Um, I mean, holy knights are basically, like... Oh, what's an analog here? <clears throat> they're like a mixture of like a sheriff <coughs> and a SWAT person of the member of the SWAT team or special forces or something like they're they're kind of a mix of those things um they're definitely supposed to go make sure justice is done and they do investigations sometimes um but they're also kind of enforcers so maybe he's become a, a trainer himself like mm. one that he works with the new recruits okay yeah, yeah. things like that faux show um <laughs> yeah i think i got an idea of what he's gonna be then so he yeah all right so his name is avario um and uh he's 39 um he yeah you know he he went through the normal path of becoming a holy knight um and now he's a man at arms um uh in in the uh i think in the in the temple district 
Um, so he's one of the teachers there that like, um, yeah, teaches the, um, yeah, it's like a trainer and a teacher of, of the martial things and also doctrinal things and, you know, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, there's, there's like a collection and you know this, like there's a collection of, um, like older members of clergy and, and stuff like that, that teach various things, um, on, in the temple district, um, for example, like we, we already saw on screen um, during a Dellen mini session, um, his old train like tutor, um, who was uh, he taught him all of his doctrinal stuff. He was like a, a theologian, um, older guy that he met, um, and yeah, I think mm -hmm. Averio is one of that that same class at this point. Like he's he's moved up in the ranks remarkably fast. Um, I think mostly it's because I mean it can be kind of traced back to your tutelage way back when. Um, in the sense that, like, yeah, he was a young upstart who was way too cocky for his own good, and you showed him how to be a gentle, kind, like, respectable member of society and a member of the church, and, like, devoted to his his god and his, and the people that he protects. Um, so all throughout his his uh, his uh, tenure <laughs> as a holy knight, he was one of the people who he never he never went in, went for any of the corrupt practices that any of the other church did he was always on the straight and narrow a lot of times people made fun of him for that and he wasn't really in a lot of the in circles but it you know it earned him a, a, a position in the temple district um you know as a as a teacher um and all of his students love him so um i think he's one of the youngest teachers there too uh but yeah so i mean you you go and meet him um what do you say so i mean you you i think you probably like maybe walk in on one of his training sessions with students right like young holy knights that are being trained um mm -hmm. and uh he he's basically like you know they all have pra practice swords and he he's just finished like n like basically like judo flipping one of the the students and like pointing his sword like at his neck and just like you just died kind of a thing you know <laughs> like mm -hmm. as you walk in and like, do, do you like interrupt the, the class or do you like kind of wait till it's, it kind of tapers off? I'd probably wait, like maybe watch for a bit. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, he, he, uh, <laughs> he, he just goes on and does the same sort of thing to, to a whole bunch of the students. He embarrasses them, humiliates them. And, and you can sense that like a lot, oh, basically all of the people, all of the Holy Knights there are, were exactly like he was as, as that, at that age. You know, we, there, there's, you know, late teen, a bunch of people in their late teens that think they own the world and that they're really good with swords and he's just showing them up mm -hmm. left and right. And at the end of it, they're all limping and like, oh, wow, like super sore. <laughs> and he's like spry and, and like swinging the sword around like enthusiastically. <laughs> and he like plants it in the ground. And this they're all practice swords, so it's not like um, like a really sharp thing any, or, or anything. But like he kind of plants the sword in the ground. And he's like, are there any questions? And like no one answers, and he's like, "Good. Think on what you've learned here, students. We'll uh, reconvene uh, tomorrow, same time." And like they, they kind of like wander off, and and like I think you noticed that he noticed you halfway during the like halfway through your time watching, but but it's now mm. that he kind of like turns to you and he, and he he bows like really respectfully, um, mm. and you know puts the puts the sword in like the rack and walks over, um. Well, he puts the sword in the rack first, walks over, bows really respectfully and deeply to you, and he says, Master Tan, it's a pleasure to see you again. You teach well. <laughs> it's good to see you also, uh, whatever your name is. Um, Averio. Averio. Yes. <laughs> so I see you have a, a bunch of students of your own now. Yes. Well, uh... <laughs> Apparently they think I'm uh, I'm a, a good teacher or something, so they uh, they uh, decided to give me young minds to to batter into oblivion. <laughs> it's a, it's a job, like like so many I've had in the past. It's except uh, instead of cutting and in, in, instead of uh, instead of battering, uh, instead of instead of sh uh, I'm trying to think of a way to phrase this. Instead of uh, beating into people with a with a uh... now nah, there has to be a good way to phrase this. Instead of beating your batter with a mechanical 
no. <laughs> <laughs> um, instead of beating my sword against a problem, um, I'm beating my mind against one. Uh, it's a challenge, a different challenge, but a challenge I enjoy. I heard you were back after uh, your uh, pilgrimage. We thought you were dead. I didn't yes. know whether to believe the rumors at first, no. but here you are, standing in the flesh. No, yeah, it's it's been a long 20 years away from home. <laughs> yes, I have it has. Many stories, and I wish we had time to catch up. And then he, However, yeah, he, he, he is, his eyes kind of like narrow, and he's like, so this is business then. Unfortunately, yes. I'm sure you know of all that's been going on in the city these days. Of course. I mean, I live in the temple <laughs> district for, you know, for, for, uh, for the abyss's sake. I, you know, the, the, uh, the, the cultists were literally knocking at our door with a very large battering ram, but knocking all the same just yesterday, you know, just a few days ago. And that was during the massacre that he's speaking of. Mm -hmm. It's a dangerous time. It is. Um, do you know of Vada? Inquisitor head? The head Inquisitor? He... Yes. Yes, I know of him. I haven't had the pleasure of meeting him. And, and he, sa he says that with a very neutral tone, as if he's he doesn't know anything about this guy. Like, like he doesn't say it sarcastically. Oh. Like he he like he knows the he actually doesn't know. Right. Like yeah, he doesn't say it sarcastically. Like he he's like oh well, like as a joke. <laughs> or and he doesn't say it like favorably. Like oh yeah, I like that guy. Like he he's just like neutrally. Like I have another pleasure. Huh. Well. I have had the pleasure of meeting this man. <laughs> and he notices the sarcasm in your voice. <laughs> he raises an eyebrow. He is very influential among the uh, the church leadership. And he is planning a coup. Which he has approached me about to uh, depose my brother and put me in charge of the Church of Saron. I, uh... There's a long pause. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a lot going on. And I, uh, <laughs> I need I someone can I can trust to, uh, to speak with and possibly help with. <clears throat> I see. It has come to that, then? Deposition? Mutiny? I just met with my brother. I tried to reason with him. He's bringing in the Temple Knights, all of them, back from the, uh, insert Middle Eastern land, and their crusades. <laughs> I really need to come up with a name. He, he wants to forcefully shut down this heresy, and he doesn't care about any citizens which get in the way. I fear he's, he's stopped listening to reason. <clears throat> this is grave news, Master Tan. It is. However, I also do not trust this Vada fellow. I fear he he is heavily in favor of all-out assassination, my brother, and I do not wish it to come to that. <clears throat> um, so what would you like me to do? We have a meeting set up with my brother. A, uh, I was able to speak with Ipana, and she's going to uh, work with us. Ipana, you're, is that your, that's the, the daughter of yeah. the, 
Oh, just is it he's... not common knowledge that she even exists? No, no, it's like, common knowledge, but, but like it, oh, you can okay. sense that he's not really connected to the politics of the of oh, the, okay. of the thing. So. Gotcha. So we're going to try and catch him alone, um, and hopefully be able to talk him into a peaceful resignation, just so that we can sort out this, uh, this cult, uh, yeah, the cult mess here going on, and the Temple Knights. But I fear Vada will try a forced assassination, um, rather than being able to talk with him. And as you can see, I'm see. not one for a marshal, uh, any physical conflict. He smiles and he's like, so. <laughs> at least when I last remembered you, you were, you were uh, definitely more of a thinker and not, not uh, a... <coughs> and he, he was trying to say this without being disrespectful. <laughs> he's like a marshal man. Yes, as you said. And he kind of looks at you over, though, and he's like... My name's you... not Marshall. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of looks at you over, though, and he's like... You do, you do seem more world-weary, though. We will have to have a long talk when all this is over. I would love to hear the stories. Yes. Or, I mean, uh, yeah. Uh, agreement. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I actually spent some time uh, on my own in the woods, and I, I learned quite a few things. Interesting. Which you might actually be interested. I would indeed. <laughs> but again, I let's not distract ourselves with small talk. You say that there's a confrontation to be had, and you want me to be there to make sure it doesn't go south. Yes. You <laughs> say that the the nobility, or the sorry, the the holy knights from from Nariel. <coughs> I named it. It's Nariel. It's gonna be big. Nariel. Place. Yeah. Okay. From Nariel, they're coming here. All of them. Yes, direct word from my brother. <clears throat> That's not good. I know those people. I've spent time with those people. They're bloodthirsty. I'm glad that we keep them up north rather than having them around here. <coughs> having that many... Holy Knights. Holy Knights, anyway. <sighs> having that many Knights in this enclosed space, with this many targets, it's gonna be a bloodbath. No good sh c will come of it. Yes, that that was my thought as well. Is there a chance that if we move now, we might be able to stop that? Wait, is he suggesting like another as in, plan as in like would... as in oh. like the plan that you have right now to go oh, stop yes. him? Is there yeah? Is there a chance to go like by doing this you'll stop? Him? Yes, definitely. That's yeah. Good, then definitely, we should <clears throat> we should do that. I'm I'm with you to the end, Master. Thank you. It's it's good to have someone I can trust who I know has a kind heart. <laughs> I only have it because you put it there. And the great god himself did, I suppose. And Literally. <laughs> and then he, he smiles. He smiles his really big, like, childish grin. He's like, besides, I've missed knocking heads together. Something about, mm. something about students' heads. They're too empty for my taste. <laughs> <laughs> yep. give, me a, give me a full skull to crack. One with all sorts of bad and bad intentions. Justice. <laughs> Let's go make sure some justice is done. Woot. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Yeah, and so he, he gathers up, like, he gets a sword and, like, puts it on and, like, puts on these gauntlets and stuff like that. And he has this, you know, this big, this, the, like, the Holy Knight, like, plate mail and stuff. Um, he, he used to have a shave head, a shaved head with the, you know, the whole, 
the tattoos and stuff like that. And he still has the tattoos, but he's, his hair is, has grown over it a bit. Um, mm-hmm. uh, and so, uh, yeah, he, 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 he gets ready. He puts on his armor. Um, uh, it seems just as polished as if like it, it almost seems like he wears it a lot, but like from the looks of it, he, he would have no reason to. So either, either he, he does use it a lot and just keeps it upkeep or he j- literally just upkeeps <coughs> it, even though he's not wearing it. Like he just keeps polishing it, even though he's not actually using it. Mm-hmm. Um, he definitely hasn't put it in a closet somewhere and forgotten about it. Um, but yeah, so he's wearing this, you know, shining armor or whatever, um, with his sword. Um, and he's very imposing. He's very imposing. Like he's a tall man. Um, uh, so you feel much more comforted, uh, with him walking by your side. So, so this all goes down. So, um, uh, <coughs> you, you meet, do you, do you go meet with Vada then too? After that? Cause I mean, you're, um, you're supposed to tell him yeah. like, Hey, yeah. this is a go. Like, let's do things. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, yeah. How does that, how does that go? What do you tell him? Um, well, logistics and, uh, <clears throat> I have, I'd probably frame it as like, this man, like, as far as introducing Averio, is that him? Averio, yep. Yeah, cool. That he's my bodyguard. He's a man that I trust. That okay, I'd... yeah, I, I think, I think, like, <laughs> for he... my own protection. Yeah, I think, um, uh, Vada definitely raises an eyebrow, but then he doesn't say anything. He's just like, all right, I just I kind of see what you're doing. Like, yeah, I feel like. <laughs> I understand that you don't feel safe probably around me. Like, this is understandable. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, yeah, he'll be joining us on our on our meeting. And then probably, does he, um, does he know of the Temple Knights? Okay. Or was uh, he the Vada? one? Vada? Oh, yeah. Vada was the one who told you originally. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Yep. yep. <clears throat> um, yeah. And then insert plans with uh what's her name uh yeah so <clears throat> and a stern reminder that my brother is not to be killed <laughs> uh yeah i mean he he kind of like waves your waves a hand and is like yes yes of course We'll talk with him first, um, <laughs> but that that in and of itself isn't necessarily a very encouraging <laughs> sentiment because he said first, mm-hmm. yeah. So implying that there might be some <coughs> skull cracking that happens here. Um, 